SpaceX continues to dominate headlines with its achievements, and they've done it again with their recent crewed flight aboard the Falcon 9 that has notably outperformed Russia. We're going to unpack all the details of this event in this video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe for future updates on SpaceX's achievements. The Falcon 9's journey was critical, as it was responsible for delivering the Cargo Dragon spacecraft into orbit. Approximately 12 minutes after liftoff, the spacecraft achieved a successful separation from the Falcon's upper stage. This mission was important for a significant delivery operation to the space station, scheduled to dock on March 23rd. It carried an essential payload weighing 2,841 kilograms of crew supplies and vital station hardware. This mission marked a notable first for SpaceX, as it was the inaugural launch of the current version of the Dragon spacecraft from SLC-40. Historically, SpaceX has preferred the Launch Complex 39A for its Crew Dragon spacecraft and the cargo variants, using the existing launch tower and crew access arm for these missions. The last cargo mission to take off from SLC-40 was the CRS-20 flight in March 2020, which also marked the final mission for the original cargo version of the Dragon spacecraft. Since then, SpaceX made significant infrastructural enhancements at SLC-40, constructing a new tower that mirrors the capabilities of the one at Launch Complex 39A. This tower equips SLC-40 for a broader array of missions, including both cargo deliveries and, potentially, future crewed flights. A standout feature of this infrastructure is the crew access arm, which permits the late loading of time-sensitive payloads. On the same day SpaceX launched its crewed mission, Russia also planned a similar mission to the International Space Station, but encountered a problem leading to the cancellation of the launch. This mission was initially set for March 21st, aiming to be the second mission to the International Space Station on that day. Roscosmos had lined up this mission on a Soyuz 2 rocket. However, just 20 seconds before liftoff, the launch countdown was abruptly stopped. At first, NASA didn't provide details on what caused the interruption. Later, Roscosmos explained on social media that the cancellation was due to a voltage drop in the chemical current source, without giving further details. They scheduled the next launch opportunity for March 23rd. According to NASA, launching on March 23rd would change the docking timeline. It's interesting to see how SpaceX, a company that's only been around for a bit more than 20 years, can carry out missions smoothly while Roscosmos runs into issues. When SpaceX started, Roscosmos was already a major player in space, competing with NASA and having accomplished a lot over many years. In the space industry, companies usually specialize in specific areas. For example, Blue Origin, despite facing challenges in rocket development, has seen its engines become one of the most successful components. Similarly, United Launch Alliance has built a name for developing some of the most reliable rockets in the industry but they don't have as successful engines which made them use Blue Origins engines in their vehicles. SpaceX, however, stands out by being strong across the board. Their rockets are top-notch and they use their own engines. For instance, the Starship's launch tower is as advanced as the spacecraft itself. This launch tower is designed to catch the Super Heavy booster upon its return to Earth with its innovative chopstick arms. These arms are attached to a carriage with hydraulic systems for precise movement control, crucial for the safe handling of the returning booster at high speeds. These arms, due to their design and functionality, are a significant departure from traditional rocket recovery methods, allowing for the potential relaunch of rocket stages in a much shorter time frame than currently possible. SpaceX's Starship stands approximately 120 meters tall and, when combined with the Super Heavy booster, represents the tallest and most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. It is built primarily from stainless steel and is designed to be fully reusable. The Starship itself, without the booster, is capable of carrying up to 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, with the entire system aiming for a payload capacity of over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit in a fully reusable configuration. The power and force behind the Starship and its Super Heavy booster come from SpaceX's Raptor engines. The Super Heavy booster is expected to be powered by around 33 Raptor engines with the Starship vehicle itself having six Raptors. 
We all saw the power of these engines firsthand during the impressive third flight on March 14th. These engines consumed a remarkable 40,000 pounds of liquid oxygen and methane per second, providing the thrust needed for liftoff. Shortly after launch, the vehicle reached max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, a critical phase for any rocket. Unlike the challenges faced during the first two test flights, the third launch saw the engines performing without any issues. At T plus 2 minutes and 44 seconds, the stage separation occurred. This was executed flawlessly, with most of the booster engines shutting down except for three, allowing for a controlled separation. Immediately after the upper stage's six engines ignited, marking the start of its journey to orbit. During the first flight, the launch sequence encountered significant issues, including three engines failing to start or aborting before liftoff, and several others failing during the flight. This led to the vehicle not attempting stage separation, eventually tumbling and disintegrating nearly four minutes into the flight. The aftermath of this test resulted in the Federal Aviation Administration grounding the launch program pending a mishap investigation, which SpaceX completed by submitting corrective actions to the FAA before being allowed to conduct another launch. During the second flight test of the Starship, the spacecraft faced issues related to the stage separation process. The separation took longer than planned, and this had a significant impact on the mission's outcome as it led to the booster being exposed to the intense heat generated by Starship's engines for a prolonged period. The exposure to the heat from the Starship's engines caused damage to the booster, ultimately resulting in its explosion. In the third flight of SpaceX's Starship, the spacecraft completed its first orbital flight but lost communication during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This was an expected part of the test as SpaceX did not plan to recover the Starship for this mission. The vehicle was supposed to enter the Indian Ocean, and it's presumed that it either burned up or broke apart upon re-entry. This test was important for assessing the Starship's performance, particularly its ability to withstand the harsh conditions of atmospheric re-entry. The first Starship launch attempt lasted four minutes, and the second lasted eight, with the latter reaching space. The third lasted more than 50 minutes. SpaceX is already preparing for the upcoming fourth flight test of the Starship, with plans to launch it in early May. The company is currently analyzing data from the third flight to inform the preparations for this next mission. However, it's important to note that the FAA was not satisfied with the outcome of the third flight, classifying it as a mishap and initiating an investigation. This could potentially complicate SpaceX's efforts to secure the necessary license for the next Starship launch. Despite these challenges, Musk has ambitious plans for the program, aiming to launch six more Starships in 2024. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.